Hey everyone and welcome back to a Blu-ray update. Yeah, this is the first Blu-ray update I've done in quite a while. So take it easy on me. So today I'm going to do a uh, just a quick video, haul, update video, whatever you call them nowadays, for the month of January. So these are all the titles I've picked up. Uh, some I've seen, some I've not. So yeah, let's get stuck in. First of all, start with Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Rampage. Not seen this one yet out of all... Uh, so yeah, based on a, if I'm correct, a uh, an old computer game looks uh, looks quite interesting. The Rock versus shit ton of monsters. Uh, no, nothing about it. I expecting dumb fun. So yeah, what do you expect? It's the Rock is dumb fun. That's all what you should get. Right. So that's that. Next up is a random one I picked up from Germany, and it's Body Check or Young Blood. I don't know different titles throughout the world. Look at that airbrushing. <laughs> reason I got this is one, ice hockey movie, and two, it's got the Swayze, the Patrick Swayze, look, never seen it, but it's ice hockey, so definitely going to pick that one up. Next up is a James Gunn movie, Slither. First time I watched this, I thought it was okay, and I've watched it twice since picking up this Blu-ray, and it gets better and better. So yeah, if you've not seen Slither, this is one of James Gunn's earlier horror movies. Very uh, small town-esque, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's more known for his uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, but some of his earlier work, like this and Super, great stuff. So yeah, highly recommend Slither if you can find it. Next up is a movie I've heard a lot about, but never checked out, and that's Spring. Still haven't checked it out, but it's kind of a monster movie. So yeah, looking forward to this. Again, this is a German import, so yeah, looking forward to Spring. Next up is one recommended from a few other updates. From Razor Wire, Man vs. Film, uh, Florida Project, two ninety nine in H and B at the moment. So, know nothing about it, but for two ninety nine with William Defoe, worth checking out. Next up is another Dwayne the Rock Johnson movie. So, Ice Raper, I've seen this one, quite enjoyable actually. He's a retired kind of bomb disposal special forces guy, he lost a leg in an accident, and he's employed to check security on the building in this new skyscraper in Japan and then basically his family get trapped in it as some terrorist criminals set fire to it uh, but yeah just brain dead action I mean completely unbelievable I was in uh, hysterics of some of the uh, action sequences but what do you expect from a, a Dwayne Johnson movie called Skyscraper you don't expect plot and dialogue you expect dumbass uh, Action, but it's got uh, Neve Campbell, who I've not seen in any movie for a while. She's looking old, bless her. But anyway, Skyscraper. Next up is a Spielberg movie. I only watched a bit of this, and so far I thought it was fantastic. Need to finish it off. But yeah, absolute 80s, 80s nostalgia. As an 80s child, I am. This movie has lots of things, and uh, I'm sure on rewatchability you'll see more, more, more. So yeah. Ready Player One. Really enjoyed what I've seen so far. Next up is a collection of movies. It's the best of the best collection. My favourite is the first one. I've seen this twice since picking up this set. Need to watch number four. I haven't watched number four yet since picking it up. But Eric Roberts, brilliant. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Uh, an old classic for me. Best of the best. Next up is one which has come up recently. Toy Soldiers from the 101 film sale. Got a few more coming. So Toy Soldiers, not seen this, Sean Astin. Don't really know much about it, but for they've got loads of sale. Well, they did have a good sale on. I think it was four quid to pick this up. So, yeah, looking forward to watching this. Next up is another one I got in our sales, an anthology movie, Nightmares. I think there was three main storylines. Yeah, three. Uh, to be honest, I think the, the first one was Best Terror in Topanga. That's how you say it. No, sorry, four. Night the Rat, I thought it was pretty shit. And... Um, yeah, all the others were okay, but the first one was really good. I mean, the thing with 101 is they're cheap. This was five quid in the sale. I wouldn't have paid 15 quid for it. There was a bit of a... I don't think the transfers are great on 101, and I think there was a bit of a fault with this disc. But this is a dual format. But yeah, it was okay, especially the first one. The first one I really liked. It played on the Urban Legend, uh, the first kind of Urban Legend scene. Uh, about a man in the back of a car. But anyway, next up is a really great creature feature. Feast, uh, as you can see from executive producers, if you can get rid of the glare, 
Wes Craven, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. I think the history of this is like a TV show or something where it follows uh, producing a film and then this is what comes out at the end. So I think it spawned a couple of sequels, but yeah, for really over the top blood splatter gore, then uh, yeah, really enjoyable. Definitely recommend this one. That's Feast. Next up is a bit of a hit and miss. I actually really enjoyed it and it's Mum and Dad with Nicolas Cage. I mean, last year I think he had some belters of movies. Again, this one uh, sounds like he love it or hate it. I actually really enjoyed it. Selma Blair about parents who just want to kill their kids. Cage rage in this was great. So yeah, not for everybody, but I really had fun with it. Next up is a slow burn, but well worth the slow burn. And that's Wind River starring uh, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch, as I call them. But yeah, real slow burn, but well worth it. There's a gun scene at the end, kind of a showdown with these security guards, and it's fantastic gun, gun, gun showdown. But yeah, uh, if you like your slow burn, but from the director of, uh, from sorry, the writer of Hella High Water, again, kind of a more fast pace, but this one definitely, uh, definitely worth your time. Yeah, can't uh, fault it. The, uh, the kind of this yeah just watch it enough of that enough said next up is a really dis real disappointment and that's the first purge watch the other three they get increasingly worse as they go and this uh, continues that trend in being shit uh really didn't enjoy this but it was very cheap really didn't yeah it was like fast and the furious to me it was just but earlier crap fast and furious yeah really didn't enjoy it so a bit disappointed with that one Next up is, oh, just dropped it, is The Predator. Just picked up this the other week. Really enjoyed The Predator. It has, it has, it's not a fantastic movie, but for me, I, do you know what, fuck that, I actually really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, can't fault it. You know, just dumb action. Uh, love the kind of uh, nostalgia throwbacks. Love the, uh, the new Hunter Predator, if you wish. Uh, but yeah, just what I want to see. Written and directed by Shane Black. So he does some fantastic work in the past. Uh, some strong characters, good mixture. I really like Thomas Jane's character in this. But yeah, I'm kind of biased in one way of a fanboy of the Predator movies. Uh, but this one delivered in great entertainment for me. So Predator. Uh, next up is... Picked this up in quite cheap on Amazon. It was really, I think, it was only like twenty quid, something like that. But yeah, it's a Predator, Predator, and Predators. Uh, yeah, I think it was about twenty quid. Yeah. So this is the four K plus the Blu Ray, and it came with digital. I sold the digital copies. I think I sold them for a tenner, you know. So I think this cost me. It was either twenty or twenty two. But anyway, it didn't cost me a lot by the time I sold the digital codes. But yeah. Not actually been and checked out the quality of these in 4K, but let's hope in the Predators a better transfer than previous Blu-ray uh, transfers. But yeah, can't go wrong with the Predators. Uh, last couple. First of is a Second Sight release, or a movie I've not watched yet, and it's uh, When a Stranger Calls. Really are in, I really am enjoying these Second Sight releases, and if you don't know, they've just announced this year they're releasing Dawn of the Dead and Martin. So looking forward to picking them two up. So yeah, this also comes with a sequel. I can't remember what it was called now, When a Stranger Calls Again? Or, sorry, When a Stranger Calls Back. So yeah, comes with a soundtrack, poster, booklet. I'm not going to get them all out, other people have done unboxing. But yeah, can't go wrong on this sort of release. Yeah, so When a Stranger Calls. Right, last two is... Next one is Summer of 84. This is a German media book. Uh, one of my top films of last year. I think I put this in at number two. So you get, uh, I think that's the soundtrack there. Just some adverts. This looks really good. Uh, Mega Time Squad. Looking forward to that during release. Then you get your, you've all seen media books. You get the booklet. All in German, which is a shame. Can't bloody read German. But yeah, DVD, Blu-ray. I just wanted this edition because it's got the soundtrack. You can't get the soundtrack on CD, but really like the media book edition. So there we go, numbered. I'm not sure about the uh, how many numbers were released, but you can still get this on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, Summer of 84, fantastic, kind of coming age, a uh, bunch of kids who play games and they find uh, one of the friends go missing and they suspect the local 
sheriff cop and it's about how they go around trying to prove that he was the killer but i'm not going to too too much about it real shocking gut-wrenching ending really like the balls they had the balls to do the ending won't say what the ending is don't want to spoil it for anyone who's not seen it highly recommend checking out summer of 84 and finally this was my film of 2018 nicholas cage mandy this is the i think it's germany release media book i got it mainly for the artwork and of course it's a fantastic movie and you can't have enough uh, editions of mandy in your collection but look at that for artwork look i love the kind of like airbrushed 80s artwork on it, it reminds me of like, like fairgrounds and rock uh, lp covers that's the rear artwork uh again inside i think it's couple of blu-rays and a dvd again all in german so i think i need to get uh, caught with my german good thing with this one it also comes with uh, if you are interested uh, if you'll focus the documentary the uh, uh, documentary rewind this is just about uh, vhs collection and about like yeah so if you're into v your vhs this is a, a good documentary uh, I've been trying to get it separately, so when I saw this uh, media book, it comes with that documentary. That was the main reason to buy it. And also, how can you not want that in the collection? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Quick update. I do have, uh, I think I'll do another video for my Arrow pickups for January. They had a good sale on, so I picked up a few titles there. And 88 Films did a good January sale, so I'll probably do a separate video for them. Anyway, thought I'd do a video like this, not done one in a while. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do, easy. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.